Hey all, Wild Philosophy here. So, today we are going to be discussing the relations between uh, Ted, the, the philosopher Ted Kaczynski's condemnation of industrialism and industrial society and its future, and the philosophy of subcreation that Tolkien outlines in his On Fairy Stories, uh, because sometimes there are weird links like that, and I, I think these are this is when philosophy gets really cool. So for those who are unfamiliar with the two authors, I'm going to give a brief overview of both of their thoughts. Uh, now, Kaczynski, as I mentioned, is most famous for his critique of industrialism and for arguing that uh, industrial society needs to be destroyed. And the, the reason he argued that industrial society needs to be destroyed for anyone familiar uh, is because industrial society, in his view, uh, threatens our ability to achieve goals. So this this sound this might sound like a, a little weird when you f first hear it, um, because it's like we need to destroy all industrial society because of goals? Oh, surely industrial society is more important than our goals, but what he a argues, and he argues very convincingly in my thought, is that goal, uh, are we are most fulfilled psychologically when we complete some goal, and the better the goal is, the more fulfilled we are when we achieve it. Um, so if you've ever done anything for yourself. You, you, you're, you should be aware of the thrill you get from doing it. Uh, for instance, when you did your laundry for the first time, if you remember it and weren't, yeah, um, if you remember doing your laundry, the thrill of knowing that from now on you can do your laundry by yourself, uh, that's pretty good. And, and then, so that, that leaves a good feeling then every other time you do laundry, you feel a little th thrill inside you. And we can, I, if we looked at bigger, bigger goals, um, you'd see that there'd be even more of a thrill. Uh, getting married, ha raising kids, um, big building projects. I don't know about you guys, but some of the happiest people I know are carpenters. <laughs> um, and what industrial society does is, it, because of automation, it replaces the goals we can achieve with robots. Um, so before we had to make, you had to make your own clothes, you had to do your own farming. Now we have m machines that make the clothing with people's help. And but it, it's all done in factories. We we see none of it, uh, and they're aiming for total automation, right? And Kaczynski thought this led to a profound sense of alienation and dissatisfaction with our life. Now, Tolkien, in his On Fairy Stories, deploys a very similar line of argument, and I, I'm comparing the two because I think that his line of argument actually strengthens Kaczynski's, but Kaczynski does not take this route because his views are secular, um, and whereas Tolkien is explicit, explicitly religious in On Fairy Stories, and this lets him produce a, tele a, a teleological argument for the same thing. So, On Fairy Stories presents the case that uh, f the chief end, or one of the chief ends of human existence is the crea is sub-creation. Um, which is sort of like God creates out of nothing. Um, it's controversial, but that, that would be the example here. Whereas man obviously can't create out of nothing. A, anything he makes is based on the external world. B, anything he makes is based on, will be some a conglomeration of thoughts and feelings he's had before. Uh, you're welcome to look at anything you liked or anything, and you'll you'll see this is the case, where like the griffin is the combination of several real animals, as is a unicorn. Um, and Tolkien believes that this is man's chief end. Why man was made in the image of God, uh, 
and he he brings this up in the context of fairy tales because he leaves that believes that for the fairy tale is one of the high points of um, subcreation. The sub man as sub creator is best epitomized th through the creation of fairy tales because it gives us the most free reign. And for those who are wondering, uh, this argument of Tolkien's has a very classic pedigree in Catholic uh, politi uh, Catholic philosophy. Um, if you want, so you're, you're probably wondering where, exa where exactly it came from as our purpose. And the answer is it emerged, uh, Catholic, Catholics have defended it via um, what we might call an apophatic argument. So where you, have, you disprove all alternatives, you bring up no uh, alternatives to, or you, you rebut all attempts at denying it and, and push it forward as the most ideal view. And so there are some positive arguments for it. Uh, I'm not going to give the most systematic view of them here, um, because this I want to keep this video under 10 minutes. <laughs> um, oh lord. Now, I can't say for sure uh, whether T Kaczynski ever read Tolkien, so I'm not arguing for an influence here. Uh, the odds are good that he did, just based on um, his childhood compared to when Tolkien published his book. Uh, and we don't find... Uh, and I'm, admittedly, you might also have mentioned Tolkien elsewhere. I've on, only read the one essay by him. Uh, but the, the, the real interesting thing is that even though we don't know whether Kaczynski agreed with Tolkien... We, know, we do know from the Lord of the Rings that Tolkien agreed with Kaczynski. Uh, Tolkien argued uh, in the Lord of the Rings, and just for those who are wondering, yes, we, we, you can interpret intentionally written literature philosophically, and the Lord of the Rings does have intentional philosophy. We, we know this from his letters. Um, Tolkien believed that industrialism was deeply harmful to the human condition, um, uh, partially because it destroyed all that was beautiful in the world, uh, which we see with the retaking of the Shire in uh, the third book, so I'm not going to go too into that because I want to spoil 1,500 pages of reading, uh, but also because it inhibited uh, mankind's community and friendship, um, like specifically friendship and co-working, which is itself a form of sub-creation. And we find repeated again and again in Tolkien's work this concern that man will be devoid of the products that he consumes, uh, which is an integral feature of industrialism, and also that this will push us into a ugly world. Uh, now, I, th I think both of the... Tolkien had these concerns back in the 40s. I think we can see that he was largely right, um, just empirically looking at the modern world where we see no beauty uh, and no uh, very, very little, uh, an immense degree of dissatisfaction if with people's jobs and their vocation and their, their life more broadly. But yeah, l let me know what your thoughts are. I appreciate any questions, uh, comments, criticisms. As I said, this, this is mostly me rambling, not me telling you what is or what is not the case, and everything in philosophy is up for debate. But yeah, have a wonderful night, and keep safe from those who would do you ill.